Hi, this is the introduction video to CS146 at San Jose State. CS146 is a mid-level class on data structures and algorithms. Uh, by mid-level class, I mean both that it has a bunch of prerequisites and also it's a prerequisite for a bunch of other classes. As its prerequisites, it, we expect that you've had a two-course sequence in programming. We happen to use Java at San Jose State. Um, but the material is basically language independent. You should also have a bit of discrete math for some of the material we'll cover. Uh, 146 is also prerequisite for a majority of our upper division courses. So you're expected to know this material before you move on to uh, your advanced coursework. Uh, the videos are not made to replace the textbook. They're not made to replace in-person class time. Instead, uh, for maybe a half dozen or so classes, instead of having lecture in class, you'll be expected to sort of watch the lecture at home on video. And then in class, we'll have activities and exercises where interaction is even more important than it is during lectures. Um, you could imagine if you're going to be doing a homework and you're going to get stuck on that homework alone, that might be a time when you'd prefer to have interaction. So uh, if we do some of that homework in class, uh, maybe I can help you to get unstuck and uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit less frustrating. Um, for students in the class, uh, there will be at least a few videos where if you watch the video uh, before the class exercise, the class exercise won't be as good or won't be as interesting. So um, in general it's fine, but you should ask before you watch videos if they haven't been assigned yet. The book that we use is widely used. It's uh, Corman, Lisason, Rivas, and Stein. Uh, the first edition of the book came out in the early 90s. And uh, I don't know, it's a widely used book. It's quite thick. You're like, wow, are we going to cover that whole book? No, no, we'll cover, uh, I don't know, maybe half the chapters or less. Uh, anyway. For people watching the videos on YouTube, outside of the class, some of the videos aren't going to stand alone very well. And if you just watch the second or third video in a sequence, uh, it's not going to maybe make so much sense. You really might have to start from the first video in a sequence. And some of the, one of the sequences might even be uh, as long as eight videos. Uh, anyway, uh, for my class, after most of the videos, there'll be some sort of easy quiz, or it's supposed to be easy quiz, based on if you understand the material in the video. Uh, so just to start you off, for the uh, even for the first video, for this one here, I'm going to give you a quiz, and the answer is going to be 17. Anyway, that's it for the introduction, and I hope you have a great semester. Thanks.